Hi, I'm Chris Bochel. I'm here with John Freeman, one of our engineers, and we're here to talk about the JPX 925 Forge. So John, tell me something from the engineering side, kind of what were the goals of this? Yeah, so this 925 Forge is really exciting for us. We took a technology that we'd only been able to do in the cast world previously and put it into a forging with the help of a new forging press in Japan. Um, it's the fastest, hottest forge to date. And to me, that's what's so cool is we've had a model like this in our lineup for years, but this one does something completely different than other, other generations of it. It's faster, it feels better, it's smaller, it's more compact. But ultimately, to me, the best test is to kind of look at some numbers and give you an idea of where it fits within our lineup. So I'm gonna start with kind of a traditional forging. I'm gonna start with our Mizuno Pro S3 iron. I'm hitting all seven irons here and I'm gonna kind of look at some numbers just to show the difference between them. So Mizuno Pro S3, S3. seven iron. Pretty good strike there. That was solid, that was good. So talk to me about the ball speed and carry distance on those. Yeah, so carry 156, you see with traditional loft, the spin rate usually around the club number. So 7,200 on the spin. Yep. Um, 115 ball speed, just really, really good height, 93 feet on the height, launch very typical of 718 degrees. Okay, so 156 so. was the carry distance. Yep. So the next one I'm gonna go to is the new JPX Forged. Again, it's a slightly stronger loft, but more than that, it's got a hotter face. It has the contour ellipse face that until this year had only been featured on our hot metal, which we launched last year. So to yep. bring that to the forge world, I'm expecting to see a little bit more ball speed, a little bit more pop, a little bit more height, but still that same forged feel. That was really good. Really good sound to that. Very similar to the S3, but the ball flight was a lot different. Yeah, very different. And like you said, we're gonna pick up some speed. That jumped up to 122 Ooh, okay. ball speed. Carry Almost six in, miles an hour. <laughs> six miles an hour resulted in 168 carry. So you're getting 12, 12 more yards with the forge compared to just a traditional cavity back. Wow, okay, so that's a noticeable difference in ball speed, noticeable difference in height. Still had a steep landing angle coming yep. in, but the feel was still there. And then to put it into context, this is the Hot Metal Pro, the 925 right here. This is the cast version of the Chromali versus the Forge version that lives in that JPX 925 Forge. Really good there. What do you think the ball speed was? If I was 122 before, yep. 127. Close, 125, five. 125, so another couple miles an hour there. Yep. The height was even higher on that one though. For sure, almost about 100 feet, where we were at about 90 with the, the traditional cavity back. So that's giving you more ball speed, more height. Spin up there 6,000, carrying almost 180. So really three different levels of playability, three different launches, but all at different levels of feel as well. The Forged and the S3 had a very soft feel. Yep. Hot metal still feels really solid, but it's definitely a little bit hotter. But between those, lots of different playing options. And to me, one of the most beautiful things about the Forge this year is we have the standard chrome version, but on top of that, we've also got available the blacked out version. This one, again, exact same golf club, the blacked out version, comes with the dynamic gold mid tour issue, the blacked out version, available through custom. Ooh, I like that shaft better. <laughs> <laughs> that had pop to it. 122 too almost the exact same as the as the yep. chrome one. So different shaft, but same head, very similar numbers between those. So ultimately with the 925 family now, you've got the Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro, Hot Metal High Launch for three levels of really fast ball speed performance. And if you want to add a little bit more feel, still maintaining that Cortec design face with mm -hmm. the contour ellipse, you have it in the JPX Forged, Chrome and Black.